Hey guys, um, I have a book review for you guys today, and um, it's on The Vampire Diaries, The Awakening and the Struggle by L. J. Smith. <sighs> okay, to be honest, I really liked it, but then I loved the movie more. Yeah, so, um, this book is about um, a girl who is like, Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, I'll read the back, as usual. Um, right here it says, A Deadly Love Triangle. Elena, the golden girl, the leader, the one who can have any boy she wants. Stefan, brooding and myster mysterious, he seems to be the only one who can resist Elena, even as he struggles to protect her from the horrors that haunt his past. Okay, my nose is stuffy right now, so my voice sounds like really weird. <laughs> Um, Damon, sexy, dangerous, and driven by an urge to revenge, for revenge against Stefan and the brother who betrayed him, determined to have Elena, he killed to possess her. Collected in the, the three volume, in oh, collected here in one volume of the first time, for the first time, volumes one and two of the Vampire Diaries, a tale of two vampires and a beautiful girl torn between them. Okay, um. This is about a um, a girl, Elena. Like, she's really popular, and um, her best friend, Bonnie, is a witch. But she doesn't even know that. Um, she's, she also has another best friend, Meredith. She has a four-year-old sister. Oh, wait. Margaret. Margaret, yeah. Um, I can say it's very different from the series because, obviously... Um, Margaret, she doesn't have a sister, Margaret, in the movie. She has a teenage brother, Jeremy, and Margaret is four. And it's, she, she's a little sister. Um, in the movie, the aunt's name is Aunt Jenna. And, um, she's not married or whatever. And she doesn't have, like, a fiancé. But in the book, she has, like, um, uh, her name is Aunt Judith. And she's, she has a fiancé to Robert. Robert, her something I forgot his last name um and in the movie Caroline is like still started their friends she's not trying to like embarrass Helena in any way like after like she gets you know in the movie like when she starts being a bee <laughs> and he she starts to she goes back to normal like she doesn't try to sabotage Helena or kick stuff and out of the uh, town, and in the book, in the movie, it's called Mystic Falls. Here, it's Feld's Church. Uh, everything is just really different, but then, um, the book is, like, about, um, demon, obviously, um, or in the movie, sorry, I keep on comparing the movie and the book, it's just, like, I don't know, it has, it's, like, hard not to, um, so Damon here, Damon is just like a total B too. Um, he just keeps on like trying to seduce Elena. Like I, if you guys watch the Vampire Diaries, you guys already know like um, Elena or Damon tried to kiss Elena, but then Elena snapped, slapped him because of the vervain that she wore in the necklace around her neck. Obviously, um, so. Um, but Damon just keeps on trying to get her and using his powers on Elena a lot. So, gosh, I don't know what to say. Um, but Damon, or Caroline, Caroline is just the biggest bee in a book that I have ever, 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 ever read about. Caroline is just so mean. Like, if you guys watch the movie, like I said, Caroline is not mean. <laughs> okay, Caroline is not mean, and, um, she doesn't really do anything to Elena. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that is. What the <laughs> She's, oh my god, my cousin's so weird. Um, but, um, Elena, um, Oh no, Caroline. Caroline's just trying to sabotage Elena. Like she, she just totally hates Elena because of Stefan. And yeah, 
so my opinion about, I get I'll give this book probably a 3.5 out of 5 stars um this book is all right it, it was good actually like people say you should read the books before you watch the series but of course obviously I watched the whole series like before I read the books so I still liked it it wasn't that bad but I'm not sure whether to continue the series because I have I just still didn't get the last one I think it's called Shadow Souls I'm not sure but then I have um the reunion or I have all three um the awakening and the struggle the fury and the reunion or no the fury and I forgot but um I have I have the first three books but then I still need to get the last one um dark shadow souls I'm not sure if that's what it's called but yeah that's what I need to get but I'm not sure if I should continue the series or like or yeah of course I'm going to continue the series I already have the book but as in like read it right after this or should I like and then go back to it later on or should I just read like another book like I don't know because I, I'm already like planning on reading another book Fallen yeah I haven't started yet but it looks like a good book so if, I, if I'm not going to continue for the rest of the series with this then I'm probably going to read this one most like I'm going to read this one give this one a break and so yeah oh by the way this is Fallen by Lauren Kate. Um, so yeah. This is my review on The Vampire Diaries. The Awakening and the Struggle by Ella J. Smith. Comment, rate, and subscribe.